So right now we are at the bus station here in Selchuk. Uh, we're waiting to take a little mini bus to a town called Aiden where we need to transfer over so that we can take the bus to Ortacha. And then our uh, Airbnb host is going to pick us up and we'll be on our way to Dalian. Good morning, we've made it to Dalian and we're going to show you around Dalian a little bit and we're going to do this over probably the course of a couple of days and compile footage. Uh, to start with though, the first thing I have to do is attempt to get a haircut. Uh, it's going to be my first ha haircut outside of North America, so this ought to be fun. making a little film is that okay oh, okay okay yeah Finished up with a haircut. Uh, total on that was 100 Turkish lira and. Including the tip. Including the tip. Yeah. Uh, and I've never had so much stuff done <laughs> so cheaply before. I got waxed. I've never been waxed before. <laughs> that was an odd experience and it took everything I had not to scream because <laughs> I knew I was on camera. our walk down this riverside promenade here and we've already encountered the tombs of Kaunas. First impressions here of Dalian and even Selchuk where we were for a couple of days. The how quiet it is compared to a city the size of Istanbul. Uh, second thing that we're noticing a lot of, which is a little surprising to us, English. Everybody we've, everybody we've run into in Selçuk or Dalian, they all speak English. We found hardly any of it at all in Istanbul where we were staying in Katakoy. It's kind of lined with hotels and cafes and whatnot. Our lovely Airbnb hostess said it's called Love Street and I think it's working. So we're doing some groceries right now. Um, we have had some challenges simply because I cannot read the product labels. So uh, for example, the other day we thought we had bought a big can of tomatoes to make some spaghetti sauce and instead we ended up buying a big can of tomato paste that we really have no use for. So uh, it's been challenging, but it's also really fun to see all the brands and the products that they have here that we don't have back home. Maybe we'll show you some of our favorites.
like these. They call them cracks and I absolutely understand why. They're like little cracker sticks, but they are very spicy and super delicious. And we've probably been buying like a bag or two every day. Cracks, highly recommend. We found this brand of peanut butter. It's called Creme Fistic. And it tastes like the inside of a Reese's peanut butter cup. So it's probably not good for you, but it is probably the best peanut butter I've had in a long time. So we just finished our grocery store run. We just bought a bunch of basics for the house, uh, pasta, fruits and vegetables, some ice some cream, cereal, cereal some crackers. Delicious peanut butter. <laughs> um, and that's probably enough food to last us uh, Couple like of two days. days. Yeah. And uh, that cost us 98 Turkish Lira. Good morning. We wanted to show you a little bit more of Dalian today. So right now we are heading to the Saturday market. Let's go. So this is quite a change from Istanbul. Uh, Dalyan is a town of about 8,000 people and much smaller compared to in Istanbul, which is one of the largest cities in the world. Yeah, it's super quiet and lovely here. Um, and it's funny, we've gotten a little bit out of town and like the streets like, almost kind of look familiar and we were trying to figure out what it was and it's, uh, it's oddly reminiscent of Palm Springs when you get out of town, Yeah, strange. selection of vegetables is quite limited so we've been having salad almost every night when I cook uh, just to get some vegetables in and we've been looking everywhere for like a little bit of a wider selection and we haven't been able to find it in the in the grocery stores in town and now here I'm finding things I've been craving broccoli green beans uh, everything looks so fresh to the quality that we've found of the produce in Turkey is out of this world and we haven't eaten yet and we walked past the stand they sell gozleme which is like a Turkish style stuffed pancake uh, we have one once in Istanbul and loved it uh, but these ladies are making it fresh here right in front of us so we're starving and looking forward to having something to eat finished up with uh, two gozlemes. Uh, one of them was stuffed with cheese, the other was stuffed with honey and banana. Uh, honey and banana obviously for me because I have the sweet tooth all the time. are leaving the market right now. Uh, I love that place. We'll definitely come back next Saturday. Uh, we are loaded down with vegetables. We got broccoli, green beans, nectarines, chilies, plums, um, and then we lunch. also we also had lunch and we got these two fresh pomegranate juices and it all cost us about a hundred lira. We're gonna finish up uh, this Dalian introduction video here. Uh, we've shown you a bit of Dalian. I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of it. Uh, as we're filming here throughout Dalian. And one quick thing I do want to say is that if you can see that little bakery right there, the individual that operates that bakery is our best friend and he doesn't even know it yet. So we're going to do a food video uh, and we're going to start with him over there. This is our balcony and we sit out here, have our coffee in the morning and we watch him work all day. 
So uh, we're gonna we're gonna go see if we can befriend this guy. Yeah, he's uh, great. So, anyways, leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to see what happens next.